Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking updates, things that I have been testing out repeatedly and I have formed a final opinion on. I'm gonna jump straight into this and I'm gonna start off with something that I talked about in my last updates that you needed to wait for this updates for in order to see what my actual thoughts were. It is the LYS Serum Foundation. The Triple Fix Serum Foundation. I love the powder. I love the cream blush. Can they please come back in stock? That would be great. <laughs> and I actually really like the way that this looks on my skin. I think it is so beautiful. I think it gives a natural glowy look. It is a no makeup makeup look or just natural in general. However, as I was trying this, I started to notice this stinging sensation and the first time I noticed it, I was like, okay, well, you know, it could be other things because I'm constantly trying things. So I was like, okay, I am going to, you know, just whatever. I took everything off my face. The next day I put this on again. I had noticed I had a few little breakouts, but I didn't want to attribute it to this because again, I had been trying several different things. Well, I stopped using other products and I put this on again and the stinging sensation came on much quicker. So I let it stay on my skin, but I started to get paranoid because I know what that usually means. And I know that I've had problems in the past where I've gotten like literal like chemical burns. So I didn't want to have a reaction. Still not absolutely certain that it was this. So I gave it a day or two, tried it again stinging sensation immediately and I was like all right it, it's this it has to be this and not only did I have that stinging sensation I had a little bit of acne but I honestly don't think that it was acne I think that it was more so my skin reacting to the foundation because you can have like those little white heads but they can come along with a reaction to products. So I don't know that I would necessarily say this breaks me out as much as there's something in it that my skin just reacts to. And those little, it's like red, white heads, red at the base, you know, and then the little white heads, I call them the retin-A it away type of acne. It's there one day, gone the next. And I don't know. There's something in it and I don't know what it is. I do think it's a beautiful foundation though. So if it works for your skin type, I do like it, but it's something I'm not gonna continue to put on my skin because it's just not worth it. I have been trying so hard to repair everything. In fact, let's talk about a skincare product. This is something that I have had since the middle of January. I went and I checked on my phone to make sure that I was correct on that. This is from Dr. Dennis Gross. Puffin calls me superhero Mel oh, whenever I'm wearing this and I have the light. Let me, I'm gonna show you the light. This is the red light. And then there's the blue light, which I think looks kind of purple. And then the mixture of the three. So there's three different settings. And there's also another color, which <laughs> I want the black one. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it. I don't need two face masks, but I'm just like, I really like this black limited edition one that I'm seeing on Sephora right now, but okay, anywho. <laughs> All right, this is the Dr. X Spectra Light Face Wear Pro. And I'm reading from the site so that I don't accidentally butcher which light does what and you know, whatever. So this is an FDA cleared three minute, like literally three minutes, that's it. LED device for your entire face that targets the appearance of wrinkles and blemishes. A combination of 100 lights in red mode and 62 lights in blue mode work together to smooth the appearance of wrinkles, diminish visible discoloration, and diminish the look of blemishes on the skin for a more beautiful, youthful complexion. Collection. And then just the red lights alone support natural collagen production while just the blue lights alone address P acne bacteria to reduce redness, calm, and guard against 
future breakouts. I have noticed a difference in my skin. I haven't changed my skincare yet. I did just get a box from Brianna Stanko. Thank you so much because I'm going to be testing out some osmosis products and I didn't want to start that before I had fully not fully because I'm still using it but I didn't want to have you know multiple things going in I even got the new drunk elephant um, whatever serum anywho I do notice a difference with this I think that you have to use it a little bit longer but I feel like my skin has improved what is in my hair that's not okay goodbye I don't know yet if I would say that it's worth the price tag, but I like it. And I like that it's only three minutes. Like it takes no time. The one bad thing is the strap for it, 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 there's no point in it. I don't use the strap at all. All I do is just lay in bed, put this on my face and go, you know, I do nothing, which is actually kind of nice. But the strap on it, does it doesn't do anything. It's not going to hold it on your face. Take the time and sit down. So I would recommend this. I do think that it is helping, especially seeing as I have stopped hydroquinoin and, you know, all of that. And I feel like my skin is looking pretty darn good. Okay, moving on. This is a new product for me, but I am loving this. I have a whole new process of how I do my makeup now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm really enjoying the cream products. However, I like them on top of my powder products. And I don't like to have a cakey appearance. So what I do, foundation, concealer, I set everything, I set my foundation, and then I put a powder bronzer on just lightly, and then I go in with this. <laughs> or I I can use this, this is my holy grail, but I like this at the end because it gives more of a luminous finish. I feel like it's a little bit more dewy, but not like in a greasy way. Usually I will use this for that step in between to kind of melt the makeup in. I kind of hold it pretty far back so that it just lightly goes on my skin. Well, this right here is the Dominique Cosmetics Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist. And it is the mister on this. Look at that. It is so even, so fine. It's just, it's so, so nice. And I don't find it to mess up. I can have, like when I did my makeup today, I did my eyes first. And if it's something that's too heavy, it can mess up your eyeshadow. It doesn't mess anything up. It hydrates without it being too much. And then I go in with my cream products. And then you guys know I like to buff. I don't go as much over the cream as much. I go around right around the edges now. But yeah, that has been really, really great. Still prefer this if I'm gonna use something at the end of my routine, but I like this in the middle. And I think that if I wanted to use something that was lighter at the end of my routine, I can use that as well. So I just wanna update you on that. And now this powder. <laughs> this powder has been, it's been great. It's been bad, it's been in between, it's been confusing. It is a very confusing powder. I feel like it is one of the most finicky powders I've ever tried. It's from Tatcha, it is the Silk Powder. I do wanna let you guys know that I just received a package in PR, so they sent this to, not, I bought this one. The one I've been using, I purchased, but I did just get one in PR for full disclosure. All right, so this powder, when I use it with a brush and underneath the eyes, oh my gosh, it is so, so beautiful. That is what I'm gonna be using this for the most. Brush under the eyes, stunning. Well, when I use a brush on the rest of my face, I still get that luminosity, which I love, but I notice that my cream products lift and I ha it has continued to do that if I use a brush. It's like it, a lot of it goes up into the air. I don't think it really truly sets my foundation the way that I want it to. And I was confused because I had figured out that I can use this with a sponge, go underneath my eyes and press even with the Blendiful all over my face. You guys saw that in a get ready with me or whatever I was doing. I think I was trying products again. And it worked beautifully. I used my cream, uh, the Balm Contour from Danessa Myricks, no issues. I went in to use my Melt Cosmetics, which is what I have on right now. 
cream blush and it lifted. So I was like, what the heck? And I'm like, no, I don't know if it's the blush. I don't know if it's the powder. It is very, very back and forth. I can tell you that I love my cream blush and I know that using a sponge definitely helps, but even when I'm using a sponge, it is hit or miss with this powder. I don't know what it is. And it's just with the blush. I don't have a problem with the Tom Ford, my, my favorite cream uh, contour bronzer situations right now, the Tom Ford or the Danessa Myricks, but my, and my highlight, no issue, but the blush for whatever reason wants to lift up. I don't get it. And it goes yellow. So if I use a brush, it's not very noticeable because like I said, I don't think I get as much powder on my face, but if I actually press this into my skin throughout the day, not initially, but throughout the day and throughout a video, it becomes pretty yellow. So what I would love to see them do is change this into a truly translucent and have a few options for different complexions because we all know that that white translucent does not work on everybody. I like this powder, I don't love it. I love it underneath my eyes. I love it underneath my eyes with a brush. It is so radiant and so beautiful. But for the rest of my face, I, I think this is gonna be an under eye powder. That, that's how I feel about it. Another foundation, I keep it in its box because <laughs> it has a refill. And if I take this out of its box and I put the refill somewhere, I will lose it. I know I will. The refill is right there. My little elephant fell out. That's not okay. This right here because this does good for the elephants as well. This is the Future Skin Cushion Foundation from Shantikai. This was sent to me by Teresa Is Dead when we did our box swap. I actually ordered another shade because I wasn't sure if this one was perfect or not, but this is. This is the shade Vanilla and I really like it. Now, this isn't in my favorites because I don't think it's going to replace anything for me, but I do really enjoy it. I find that if I use a sponge I get a little bit more radiance out of it, but less coverage. Still gorgeous. And then if I use a brush, I get more coverage. And I can also wear this foundation alone and just powder my T-zone, which is really, really nice because I've been playing around with different methods and whatnot. So this has been really, really gorgeous. Definitely something that I would recommend. I'm not gonna call it a favorite, but I do really like it. I think it's a really beautiful foundation. One more powder, and this is kind of like the foundation. Super pretty, but it's not going to replace anything. However, if you're looking for something, especially if you're dry skin, this is really, really gorgeous. This is the Coasis Cloud Set Powder. I have the shade Feathery and Breezy. These will set your makeup a little lighter, so not as, like, I really like to press in powder. That's just my go-to. But this will set your makeup in a more natural way, and it looks really great underneath the eyes, especially to blur the pores. It's beautiful. Let me show you the shades. So this one right here is the shade Feathery. This is the one that I will use on my entire face. Let me show you the color right there. So it's very fine. It's not going, you're not gonna get a bunch of coverage out of this or anything. And then Breezy, this one's a little bit brighter and I like to dust that underneath my eyes. This is something that I just kind of pick up whenever I'm feeling like I wanna have just a little bit more of a natural look. It's really beautiful. It doesn't dry out my skin. It looks really great on my skin. It's just not going to replace anything. Still going to be using it, it's just not going to replace anything. Lastly, the update on the Their Real Magnet Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. So, I was half right. <laughs> I thought that this would start to dry out. However, it's drying out, but not nearly as quickly as I thought it would. I'm still, I'm like using it almost every day, almost, and Still looking pretty good. I do notice now though, I don't remember how long ago it was that I tested this out. You can check the, the video and see when it was posted. You know what, let me do that for you so you don't have to. It has been three, almost four weeks, so a month of using this. And I'm, again, I'm using it just about every day. I've noticed that as I'm applying it, like there's still 
product in there, but it's not nearly as wet as it was initially, and it wasn't a wet formula to begin with, but when I'm applying it, it's a little bit drier, and I've noticed that as I'm applying, I like to put on a lot of mascara. <laughs> I will get a flake or two on my cheeks, but not throughout the day. So that's good. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when you're putting it on, you're layering it and layering it, and then you get something on your face, like the little clumps. I just wipe those away or dust them away, and then I don't get them throughout the day. Like I've had this makeup on, this is the second video I'm doing today. So I've had this makeup on for quite a while and nothing's been on my face. And the wand that is that pokey wand, I don't notice it as much anymore. I don't know if it's just because I've been using it for so long, but, or if I've just gotten used to the wand so I know how to use it and like not poke the inside. I still get a little bit, but it's not nearly as bothersome as it was initially. I might actually repurchase this. I might. I don't know. I like the way my lashes look. I have no, I didn't use a curler or anything. It's black. I do think it, it's, it's going to dry up, I would say, probably in the next two weeks. So it's going to be a month and a half of daily use. So that's up to you as to whether or not it would be worth it. But anywho, I think that's it. Yeah, so I was checking my basket and that is it for my updates. You guys let me know if there was something that I missed and I can uh, hopefully help you out. Also keep a lookout for my favorites video because I might answer some questions there. And anywho, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.